All right guys, so today I gotta drive an hour and a half away to a store, the only store in my area that has the stuff that I need to hopefully make my life a little easier with the lawn care and hopefully to fix a few things. You guys know I got that Tory Build mower that's gotta get fixed. So if you guys already know what it is, put in the comment below what you think it is, but it's quite a truckload of stuff that I'm going to get. And yes, I have to drive an hour and a half away because of this pandemic. It's the only store around that has all the stuff. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. So as you guys remember, I needed to go get something to fix my Troy belt, as well as it's just something I wanted to have anyways. So I don't know if you guys were able to guess what I went and got today, but here's what I got. So I ended up getting a welder. I got a power washer and a welding helmet. I got a bunch of other stuff too. I don't remember entirely what I got, but these were the main things I went there to get. So as you guys know, I got my welder because the weld had broken my Troy belt. And I just wanted to have a welder because there's a lot of stuff I want to do. Like I'm actually going to make one of those easy lifts to weld onto here to where I can easily lift this up and down. As well as I was wanting to make some kind of bagging system for my zero turn instead of buying one because they're pretty expensive. So I was hoping to maybe build one. So a welder is just one of those good things to have. Now before you guys ask, can I weld? Eh, I can kind of weld. I used to be able to weld like stick weld. My welds weren't pretty, but they would hold. And I mean, they, would, they were really good at holding, but like I said, they didn't look pretty. So I think with just a little bit of practice, I can get back into it. Plus, my brother-in-law is actually a welder. He actually welds for a living every day. So if I can't do it, I know he can. So as you guys can see, it is just the Flux 125 that I can plug into a regular wall outlet. And I should be able to weld just out of my garage. So it's pretty nice. From talking to it a bunch of people and reading a lot of reviews, everyone says that this is a great starter, a great beginner welder for someone that just wants to do a little bit of welding or maybe even get into it and practice and play around with it. This is a great one to do. And of course I had to get me a welding helmet. I actually have one you guys may have seen, but that's a very old one and I actually wanted one that auto darkens. And obviously this is also the one they sell at Harbor Freight as well. And it's actually really nice for what it is. So moving on to the final thing. So I bought a power washer. The main reason why I bought the power washer is because you guys know I like to keep my equipment clean almost every day or every few days or at least twice a week. In the beginning, I was taking my equipment to a car wash. I was pulling in the car wash and, you know, paying 5 to $10 to wash all my equipment off anyways, or at least the mower and underneath the deck, because I'm a big fan of keeping my stuff clean and looking good. To me, I think it looks more professional having clean equipment, but the big thing is when I do maintenance on it. You know, there's nothing like working on a dirty deck or, you know, a deck that's got dog poop on it and stuff like that. So you got to keep it clean. And as well as this will work great for just washing cars, my wife's car, my truck and trailer and stuff like that. And it's actually strong enough. I can wash uh, power wash, pressure wash driveways if I really want to with that. But I don't know. We'll see about that. You guys may or may not know, but I was looking at getting into some power washing on the side, pressure washing on the side. Uh, but unfortunately, I didn't work out this year. I kind of bit off a little more than I could chew with the lawn care side. So I just want to get that kind of going and run smoothly probably next year. And then I may dip into doing some power washing, but I don't think I'll be able to use that. Maybe that for like driveways, like I said, and like trash cans. But when it comes to the houses, I could probably do one story houses with it. But I'll definitely need to upgrade to something bigger if I really get into it. But that's another video and a whole other topic that we'll probably get into probably next year before I really even start talking about doing power washings anyway. But you guys will definitely get to see me use this on all my equipment as well as you know trucks and cars and stuff like that and maybe even a driveway or two and maybe even my house you know who knows so now i'm excited because i'll finally get to use that welder and get my troy belt running again so i can stop using my push mower because as you guys know i hate using my push mower but that's just me so let me know if you guys have a welder and do you guys do any welding at all in your equipment or do you have somebody that you take it to or anything like that and let me know if you wash your own equipment i want to hear about it so if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and as always, thanks for watching.